What was your biggest makeup mistake? When I was a teenager, I had really bad acne. I would get a bottle of foundation, squirt a huge big pile into my hand and just slap it onto my face. And it was always like two shades darker than my natural skin tone. So I just kind of looked like this orange floating face walking around. I didn't realize until recently that you should probably fill in your eyebrows or turn them a certain color so they don't fade into the rest of your face. Probably putting it on to begin with. I put on quite a bit of eyeliner, my friends, quite a bit. Looked a little bit goth, a little bit scary, but girl, I thought I looked hot. When I was in high school, the big thing was to have really dark brown lip liner and then wear a rusty kind of color lipstick. But you didn't like blend the lip liner and the lipstick. Such a bad idea. I like cringe. I cringe when I see those photos. What was your first job? I worked at a skateboard shop called Zoomies. I built skateboards. To this day, I can still build a skateboard in under 15 minutes. Boss status. I've never had like a regular nine to five job. Who would want to hire me anyway? My resume would just say, hey, I'm Teron Von Gossery, my own biggest fan. I had to create the lane and the space that I could be myself. They hired me to work at this camp. I was only 14 years old, but I was watching 13 year olds. So I was literally telling people who were only one year younger than me to go to timeout. That was kind of awesome. My first job was at this salon called Fantastic Sands. And the only reason I got that job was because I was on a mission to work at a beauty boutique, but they didn't want to hire me because they thought I was too young. And I was like, oh no, you are going to hire me and I'm going to make you hire me. So just watch. Share a story of a life changing moment. I'm mixed. My dad's Persian. My mom's black. That wasn't a very common thing at all. My dad had come to pick me up from school. My dad's very fair skinned. My teachers didn't understand when he was referring to picking up his son, meant me. Because to them, I looked black and he looked white. A feeling came over me of guilt or shame. It was a feeling that I, I vowed I'd never feel again. It was that moment at the age of four or five that I decided that I would always be proud of myself, of my cultural identity, and most of all, I'd be always proud enough to always speak up for myself. And at that moment, I ran into my father's arms and I said, this is my dad. It really just changed my life. My video that I did with Michelle Fon launched and that is something that I never thought I could say I did. Being told I wasn't going to do anything with makeup and then doing a collab with the biggest beauty blogger in the world is something that's so amazing to me. I posted some inspirational writing online and someone read it and informed me that their legs were severed in a car accident and could no longer walk, but my words motivated them to go back to therapy and I found out recently that that person is walking again. And this really made me realize the power of words and embrace my writing more.